Harbison, broker owner of Realty Executive Southern Nevada Properties. Today I'm here at Vitalent, which is formerly uh, United Blood Services. The reason I'm here today is in light of everything going on with the coronavirus, a lot of people are afraid to give out, get out and give blood, and that is becoming a problem. We're running into a shortage. So I wanted to come and speak with these folks, have them go through the process with us, show us how they're being super safe in today's environment, and uh, just get you the information that you need. Oh, and there's Janine now. Hey, Janine. It's Hi. Good to see you. Thanks for having me here today. Hey, you're welcome. So tell us what's going on at Vitalent today. Well, we're asking people to come to any of our donation sites or any of our community blood drives to donate blood because there still is a need uh, for blood transfusions every day in the city. Oh, absolutely. And I'm sure with everything going on with COVID or whatever you want to call it today, yes. uh, that people are afraid to come out. They're afraid for their safety. So tell us how you're keeping all your donors safe. Uh, we've created quite a few procedures to ensure that we keep not only our donors safe, but our team here safe and healthy. Mm -hmm. So distancing. we have the six <laughs> feet of social distancing. Uh -huh. We're asking all of our donors to please make an appointment online or to call our call center at 877-25-VITAL to make an appointment. Okay. Uh, once you make your appointment, we're asking everybody to do their health history questionnaire, either on their cell phone or on their computer the day of their donation. Gotcha. Um, once they come in over to our center, we're, we're taking everybody's temperature. So before mm -hmm. you step site into any of our blood drives, your temperature is taken. If it's over 99.5 degrees, you'll be ineligible to donate. And we'll just ask you to come back another day. But if you pass the temperature check okay. with flying colors, then we'll have you um, sit down in our reception area. All of the chairs are six feet apart. If they happen to be filled, we'll send our donors back to their cars or outside and we'll call them when they're ready. Um, we're constantly cleaning all of our um, locations where the where the donation where the donors have touched. So high touch areas. So need wise, how many people to meet the need? How many people a day do you need to come and donate? We're the largest blood provider in the state of Nevada, and just in Southern Nevada alone, we need to see 700 donors a day. Wow. Yes. So that's a big number. So Joyce, thank you for coming down today. Are you a regular donor? Yes, I've been here before. Why, why did you decide to come to donate today? It's just needed. There's always a need for blood, plasma, platelets. Um, what I can do, you know, if I can help someone, that's what it's all about. Thank you so much for taking your time today because the act that you're what you're doing today is amazing and knowing that you've saved up to three patients lives wow i didn't realize it was that many yes yes it's up to three patients lives today so okay. thank you for what you're doing you're welcome Well, thank you for being an active donor and to continue to impact and transform patients' lives. Yes. yes. Uh, because not only do you impact the donor, but you also have an impact on the page on their loved ones. Yes, they get to have right. more time yeah, with them. Right. So it, it's such an amazing gift to give. It is. Yeah. So um, we're just asking everybody and anybody who is healthy and well, and as long as they meet the requirements that we have on our website, and you can find that at vitalent.org, um, it'll guide you through the process. And please come down. Your one donation can save up to three patients' lives. Wow, and the blood that you collect here mm -hmm. goes to Las Vegas hospitals first. Yes. And then if there's a need, if you exceed the need here, it can go out and help other people as well. Exactly. It really warms your heart knowing that I've made a difference. Wow, and there's no cost to this. No. Anyone who's healthy can donate mm -hmm. and, um, you know, within the guidelines, and of course they do the questionnaire. Yes. And um, this is something that everyone can do. I mean, we're, we're in, you know, with everything going on with the pandemic, you know, everyone is scared to get out and do something or they're looking for something they can do. And this is something you can do that doesn't cost anything. And it really, really saves lives. So thank you, Janine. Oh, thank you. Okay. So as you can see, it's super important that everyone gets out and gives blood, especially now, more than ever. Uh, it's safe, it's easy, it's fast, doesn't cost anything, and it's a way that you can really, really help your community and save a life today. So find the hero in you.